On November 21st, a delegation of senior Nobel Prize judges, world-renowned scientists, and academicians visited the Chengdu Tianfu International Biotown, embarking on a unique exploration of biotechnology. So I'm delighted to be here. I was especially excited when we pulled up to see this wonderful statue of DNA. So DNA, uh, when the structure was first discovered, it was called B-DNA, and it had a right-handed helix. And my father was also a scientist, uh, and he discovered a different structure of DNA called Z-DNA, which had a left-handed helix, because this was my father's uh, exciting discovery. So, so as soon as I saw this, it's, it's left-handed. This is my very first time in mainland China, very first time in Chengdu, and I am amazed how many buildings and uh, people. The biotech environment is amazing here. I've been to Chengdu before 2010. I worked in Singapore for eight years. I was a professor at Nanyang Technological University in Singapore, but I would say I can see the same philosophy. You have to invest in infrastructure and, and in people. I have been impressed m most um, here is the education you have, the education system. And I went to high school to speak to high school students. And I think you have amazing students. I believe that in China, I mean, that the future of science in China is in safe hands. And you have fantastic education system. I think this is the beginning of a great future. We already have started and have incredibly impressive plans. It's an impressive arrangement and I get curious to see how it will work. But you have enormous investment and a belief. I'm impressed that you can construct something like that. Enormous investment, enormous planning. And apparently you are very good at planning. I'm a firm believer that society is driven by science and technology. Look at what we have. I mean, the way the computers we have today, the way we can sequence our genetic material and so forth. It's unbelievable what we can do. I think when you have uh, certain disciplines, including science, if you have people closer together, that can share ideas and information, you get more productivity. So having a place like this where everybody is together, as long as they can interact on a way that, that promotes advance, advancement of uh, science, then, uh, then it, that would be very synergistic. So we, uh, I think it's smart to have a bio town here. I stand here in front of you and I'm 87 years old beyond the average lifespan of men in Sweden. I keep on a high quality life, keep on working every day. So it is a dramatic change. Science is an international endeavor. You don't do it on your own in your own country. You interact with other scientists. And that is a charm. Knowledge knows no borders. Knowledge is something that that is a part of the global culture.